So what's next? All right, I know. Headlight's not working. So a lot of times what people will, what will happen is, you know, both headlights will just simultaneously go out. And um, I think I got a pretty good troubleshooting method for this. So the first thing, if you have both headlights go out simultaneously, if you have both of them just go out, open your underhood fuse block. I showed you how to do that before. We swap those two relays. See if it works. Technically they're not called a relay. It's called a headlamp driver module. It has one for the headlights and it has one for the fan clutch. So swapping them, you know, is a pretty quick test that you can do yourself just to verify that you know this is the problem. I'd say they're pretty well known for failures. And again, that's usually when both headlights just go out simultaneously. Okay, so let's say you swap the two, you swap the two relays and the lights didn't work. Well, we're going to test the inputs and outputs here just using simple electronics tools. So we're going to remove, I believe this is number 46, it's called HDM, Headlight Driver Module. Got to put this somewhere where you don't lose it too. Let's put them up there. So here's the headlamp driver module. Looks like pin number six has a ground. Pin number five is turned on by the BCM. <clears throat> it has a fused B plus input. And then your output to your left headlight and right headlight. I've drawn this up, this little schematic, which shows the four cavities and how they're oriented facing the front of the truck. So if you have this diagram right next to it, every, well, your pins are going to line up right. So first, let's do our preliminary tests. We're going to check for battery voltage on pin number two. So I'm going to take my little... Hold on, I can't see that thing. Where's that? Where's that? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to pin two, check for battery voltage. So right in pin two. I'm going to take my test lead, hook it up to the ground of the battery, see if it lights up. It does. So next we're going to put our lead into pin 6. We're going to hook up our test light to the positive battery and we'll see if it lights up. So pin 6 has ground. Now we're going to take our test lead and go into pin 5, which is at the bottom of the three pin row. We're going to hook our test light up to battery power positive and we're gonna have Miss Barber turn on the headlight switch on off on off so now we verified that we have power and ground Lamp driver module. We verified that we have signal from the BCM. Really, the only thing that's left is from pin four down through the headlights themselves. So our next test to verify this would be to take a jumper lead. We have it hooked up to the battery positive, and we're going to clip it into pin four, and the headlamp should turn on. which they do. Now if they didn't, you could have bulb problems, melted connectors, or the wiring from the fuse block to the headlights themselves. So what we've learned is how we can test all the inputs to the headlamp driver module and the output, how we can actuate and put power ourselves to the bulbs to test this side of the circuit. You know, if you do all these tests, you have a better chance of getting, you know, better advice on the form because you won't have to go through all this crap, you know, and you'll say, you know, well, I put power on four and it doesn't work, or I don't have signal at, you know, pin five, or no power on pin two. It'd be a better way to get more in-depth help, you know, having already done all these steps, or hopefully, you know, just to be able to find a fix yourself. So I think we covered it. Now they have a technical way of doing this, a little bit more technical than my driveway method. Perfect. 
they say hook up the scan tool and check codes in the body computer. You can do that. Um, they say you'll have a B2575 stored. Um, they want you to turn on the headlights with the scan tool. Uh, they want you to test powering ground to the HDM. They want you to apply battery voltage to cavity 4. We did that. We checked for uh, ground from the BCM. So we pretty much covered every HDM testing. Fuck yeah. HDM testing. Fuck yeah. HDM testing. Fuck yeah. <laughs> you know these fucking things are like 30, 40 bucks. No. Yeah. Oh, I guess there's another tip. I think 2008 and up, they don't have two of these. So I think you're you're really going to have to you'd have to do the testing here that we did because you couldn't do the first step, which was the swap, because uh, they did away with the electronic clutch. Okay. We're gonna take our test light, hook it up to the positive of the battery, touch the lead. It didn't work. 